Hey guys, today we are going to be getting back to StarCraft. This is going to be episode 3, more specifically Mission 3, YTLP, Terran 3, Desperate Alliance. If memory serves, this is a little bit of a tough mission. Um, specifically, you're going to have to survive for 30 minutes. Alright, so like Jackass over there says, you can right click on any structure or unit to repair it. We're going to want to get going on building as many. Um, we're we're going to want to focus on building bunkers and missile, um, Terran missile turrets, okay? That's what we're going to want to focus on doing. That's what I, that's how I do things. We want to get as much done as possible as quickly as possible. Surviving for 30 minutes is not all that difficult. One of the first things we're going to want to do is build a refinery. Oh, well, doesn't that suck? Seeing as how we have limited resources right now, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that both of these bunkers have four soldiers apiece or marine soldiers, whatever. One of the things you're going to want to focus on as well, once you get the refinery built, are upgrades. Upgrades can be your best friend in keeping you alive, especially on this quest where you have to survive for 30 minutes. <laughs> and I just realized this is going to have to be a three-parter. Wonderful. Ugh, I cannot wait to get back to work, start making money again so that I can start investing in YouTubing the way that I want to. Something on your mind? Yeah, I just told you what's on my mind. <laughs> Alright, so, with the refinery constructed, build a couple more SCVs, another Marine. And as soon as humanly possible, I want to put up some bunkers, some turrets. And then two SCVs on Vespin Geyser should be good for now. I'm just trying, right now I'm trying to get as many, um, trying to get as many SCVs as possible. Specifically to increase unit production mineral production, things of that nature. Alright, now we got a decent amount of workers here. I'm gonna go to build basic structure. And we're going to pop another bunker right there. Alright, wow. That's really something. My uh, video timer is pretty much on point with the game timer. Now I'm going to upgrade our infantry weapons. I know it seems like it's playing close to the vast the way I'm spending the minerals and that, but trust me, when you only have 30 minutes to do things, you have to, you gotta be very careful about the resources you spend. That's why, yeah, I could cheat to get the resources, but, I mean, it's all about survival for 30 minutes. If I do that, what the hell is the point in even making this video? The first couple missions, the reason I cheated was just to demonstrate gameplay, which is basically what the first couple missions are anyways. Hmm. 
No, I hope that's not a waste of resources. Actually, you know what it is a waste of resources. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. For right now, I don't need a comsat station. As soon as we have the resources, I want to get another... I want to get a second bunker over here. Okay. One of the things I often forget about in this game. All right. So you want to build. You want to keep on the supply depots, obviously. I remember always make sure that the bunkers have units in them because there's nothing worse than a bunker with no units and it's a sitting duck, obviously. Uh, put up a missile turret over here. And another one over here. Time flies when you're playing this game. We're approaching the one minute mark, so unfortunately, folks, I'm going to have to cut this video short. Like I said, basically what you're going to want to do, and I'll show you, you know, the next video will cover more bunkers and more missile turrets, basically, and more SCVs. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for episode two of this quest, mission, quest, whatever. We are going to hold out for 30 minutes, and I'm going to show you how. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more action.